barren islands. For thousands of years, since the dawn of civilization, the edge of the known world. Home of the internationally famous Aran Sweater. Situated nine miles into the Atlantic Ocean, a wild and wintry place, rich in antiquities and prehistoric Celtic remains. There are no trees and few sheltered places. Instead, the land lies low on the sea with great sweeping terraces of polished limestone and mile upon mile of dried stone walls enclosing hundreds of small fields. They have a record of human habitation that stretches back over 4,000 years. The Celts were the first known people to inhabit this inhospitable environment. The Aran Sweater gets its roots from the early Celts, who wove coarse woolen blankets, crudely fashioned to provide warmth and shelter against the elements. As the Celts settled and prospered in their meagre surroundings, the earliest Aran knitting techniques were developed. By the first century AD, heavy woolen garments with natural oils were knitted using primitive needles. Although the exact origin of the Aran Sweater is lost in history, there is clearly a very strong graphic relationship between Aran stitches and Celtic art. Many Aran patterns can be found on ancient Celtic stones and crosses, and also on jewellery. By the 8th century, Christian manuscripts have references to elaborately designed garments thought to be the earliest known record of Aran knitting. By the end of the first millennium, Christianity was well established on the islands. Jacob's Ladder, Tree of Life, and Holy Trinity Stitch all have spiritual meaning which interlace with folkloric traditions. The Aran Islands are rich in visual imagery. The natural surroundings and environment have together acted as a source of inspiration and creativity. Irish moss stitch is a symbol of carrageen moss, a seaweed gathered by islanders for food. The diamond stitch is said to represent the little stone wall enclosed fields. Stitches like cable and trellis are said to represent the nets and ropes of the fishermen. As the craft developed, certain traditions grew up around methods of design and the meanings of individual patterns. Each family clan developed their own combinations of stitches and patterns. As well as a protective outer layer, fishermen wore the sweaters as a religious garment to safeguard them from the perilous sea. Oh. 
all too often. Drowned fishermen's bodies were washed ashore and would be identified by the patterns of their family's sweater. By the 19th century, knitting was well established on the islands as a source of income. The British government set up the congested districts board to alleviate the circumstances of the very poor. Knitting was seen to be commercially viable and the first organised knitting industry was established. It was a painstaking and laborious process to produce a perfectly hand-knit garment for the markets. Sheep were sheared by hand. The wool was then washed in an acid solution of water in sheep's urine. To eliminate knots and tangles, the wool had to be brushed or carded. This job was done with special brushes covered with bristles. The wool then needed to be spun and twisted into a continuous unbroken thread to make the final yarn. Spinning techniques improved and top quality yarn was being produced. The average Aran sweater is made up of approximately 100,000 stitches and can take up to 60 hours to knit. Each stitch on every row has to be correctly worked. Each pattern has a different number and combination of stitches. The complex techniques and arithmetic can take years to learn. Aran's sweater has become an internationally recognisable symbol for Ireland and the Aran Islands. It gained widespread popularity after first appearing in Vogue magazine in 1956. Over the years, designers like John Paul Gaultier and Kenzo have adapted this unique garment to feature in many of their collections. From humble beginnings, the Aran Sweater Market, the home of the Aran Sweater, has grown today into one of the most successful craft industries in the world, supplying its high-quality knitwear across the globe. It has contributed significantly to the economy of these islands. A success story against all the odds from an isolated rural community. The Aran Sweater, worn by generations of islanders, is an enduring symbol of classic beauty and quality. It represents a unique history of an island, its culture and traditions. Each sweater is a work of art, carefully handcrafted to last a lifetime, chosen from the finest wools and knitted with care by experts. A timeless reminder of an island and an art form quite like nothing else.